come up with a petition to resolve this particular county. Let all the MCs and the governor and the deputy governor go home so that uh, basically you can go back for fresh elections. In Meru, we get a new governor, new deputy, and new MCs, uh, Honorable Speaker, so that things can work for the people of Meru. You can also decide to resign the uh, speaker and uh, run for the, you can run for the position, Honorable Speaker. But uh, the, I believe uh, the fact for the lies I will not uh, run for that particular issue, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, that is my take. Yuri Njeke are respected. I don't know why they've run away from adjudicating, from reconciling these particular people. Thank That's you. it. Thank you, Senator Kisang. Senator Kongo Mogeni. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. <laughs> Mogeni. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, you know, we should not uh, hit the judge so hard. You know, this, this constitution created an article called Article 159 on alternative uh, forms of dispute resolution. And I want to inform senators here that even people who have committed murder have been referred to mediation, reconciliation, arbitration. So you, you, can't, uh, you cannot attack the, the ruling that was delivered by the judge because he was uh, invoking an article that is in the Constitution. And you know, senators, you should read uh, Article 159 speaks of judicial authority, the power that is donated to the judge to give ruling and directions. But Speaker, me, I want to thank the Njurincheke because they, I think Njurincheke have seen the light. I read that they have applied to withdraw from the proceedings. Mm -hmm. And they want to allow that matter to run the full course. Yes. You know, and under Article 181, it's us, senators, who gave powers to our MCS to initiate an impeachment. So now that the Njurincheke and I want to thank them because that's why we are here to deal with issues of impeachment. Now that in Jurincheke have seen the, the light, they have allowed this motion to run its full course. Let it be processed by the members of Meru County Assemblies. Let it come to the Senate. I can you see the Senate of uh, Nyandarua <laughs> is salivating. <laughs> Let it, let it be processed, Mr. Speaker. It comes here and we deal with justice. You know, Mr. Speaker, we must uh, respond to the issues that are being raised by the MCS and the residents of Meru. So let the judge, now that Njurichek have applied to allow that matter run its course, let the judge allow it to be processed, come to the Senate, and we do what we are supposed to do, Mr. Speaker. Nobody should fear the, the senators of the Republic of Kenya, including uh, Governor Kaweria. If I was her, I would not even bother to go to court. Let, if she is clean, let the matter come here. We deal with it. If she is clean, she's acquitted. If, on the other hand, she has uh, committed issues that make it undesirable for her to continue holding that office, then again she should uh, fall on the doors of justice. So there is nothing to fear. Both ways, there will be justice. If she is innocent, an acquittal. If she is guilty, she should go home. That's why we have accountability, Mr. Speaker, in our constitution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Chute, you know I cannot see your request on my screen. I don't know if there is your. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is a constitutional matter that is raising. Thank you. Thank you very much. I cannot see his request. And that's the last one. Then we proceed with the other business. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to add my, add my voice on the issue of Meru. Honorable Speaker, my friend Senator Mandago <laughs> quoted an article which uh, is he read halfway. And this is 159. If you look at 159C, alternative form of forms of uh, dispute resolution, including reconciliation, mediation, arbitration, traditional dispute, resolution mechanism shall be promoted subject to, subject to clause three. And clause three, Honorable Speaker says, traditional dispute resolution mechanism shall not be used in a way that A, contravenes the Bill of Rights, B, is repugnant to justice and morality 
or results in outcomes that are repugnant to justice or morality. Or C, is inconsistent with this constitution or any other written law. Honorable Speaker, Article 181 is very clear. It tells us how to remove a governor from the office and the deputy governor also. Honorable Speaker, I'll give you an example of Marsabit. We don't have Injurun in Marsabit. What will happen if the members of the National Assembly want to impeach the governor? Are they going to ask for Meru Jurunjeke to come and help us there? No, it is not possible. Again, Honorable Speaker, if the issue being raised are, it by itself has some criminality issue, wastage of funds, resources, yes. misappropriation of money, yes, it goes against Article 6. So, Honorable Speaker, I really thank the Jurunjeke for referring back that issue to the courts. And we are waiting for Governor, Governor Kawira Mongaza here before the Senate. We are ready and waiting for her to come here. Honorable Speaker, finally, I think it is very important for us to look at the law. This Constitution 2010 is one of the best constitutions that any person can have, especially in African countries. Let us not ignore.